Hey guys, welcome to another video and today we're in this awesome game which has just been released on Steam although it's been around for a little while and it's called Cross Out. And what I thought I'd do is put together a beginner's guide here in the form of 10 tips. Tip 1. When you first come in and you're adjusting and playing around with your build of your car, I always recommend test driving it. It may be because you put the wrong wheels on, it's not as movable as you want it to be, you also get to test out against a stationary version of your own build. And what you can do with this is fire it and see how effective your armor is. Definitely worth doing. Always test drive your car before you go into battle. Tip 2. When you're going into battle, have a look at the names on the list. What you'll see are steam names at the top and then bot names at the bottom. Bots are good for points. Allows you to gain prestige as well as items in game like scrap metal. So if you can take bots out, and they're much easier to take out than the players obviously, then that's always quite a good goal to have. Getting two kills will get you rewards at the end, even if you don't win the round. Having said that, with tip three, taking out the other players, especially if there's only one or two of them in the round, could leave you to then wipe out the rest of the bots that are left. Now as you get more advanced, the bots become harder to kill. And you may be unlucky to end up against a tank of a bot, but if you take out the players, you will find they often aim for you as well, then you're left to clean up at the end of the round. One of the common mistakes when it comes to steering your vehicle is you may not have put the right tyres on. This is why when you do your test drive you can have a look at this, but it can be overlooked and if you're in game and you can't steer your car, maybe because you haven't put wheels on that have the ST next to their description on the item. So make sure you've got steer wheels and if you have four of those on your vehicle then it will be really really easy to steer although you may not like how sensitive that is for steering so it's up to you make sure you test drive those but also make sure you've got some ST wheels on your vehicle another mistake I see in game especially early on is when people mount their guns on weak points panels or frames that you get from your from your inventory you put them on the car then you put the gun on top they then become easy targets for any experienced players and you soon have lost the capability to fire at the enemy. So make sure that you mount your guns on strong points on your vehicle. Tip 6. Having said that, there are frames in game. Now these are much harder to hit because the bullets pass through their tubular steel structures. So you can put guns on top of these but even then they still are vulnerable. So have a look at your options, especially if you need to raise your gun up. You may decide to use one of the frames that you have available to you. Tip 7. You've got to make sure that your guns, say if you equip some light machine guns on your car, have line of sight. And you can tell this because the little circle at the bottom that highlights your weapon will be lit when it's got line of sight and when it's greyed out you haven't got line of sight but you can also check what is your best angle of fire if you've got four machine guns on your vehicle there may be points at which you have the best line of fire and if you don't have a really good line of fire you may decide to move those guns around on your vehicle so the line of sight is better and a wider arc so to speak tip eight as you gather together equipment, you're going to want to sell it. If you then go to the market, you'll find that there are things you can buy at cheaper price, things that you don't necessarily have access to at the level you're at. So this may be prestige items that help increase the amount of points you get from each round, like lights or bags or other types of things that make your cars look really cool. Of course, I pick up things like spray paint, um, copper as well as wire all sorts of things on the market so be aware of that it's not always the best option 
but keep checking that out because you may get some bargains. That's the market. Tip 9. Crates can also be crafted on the faction section of the menu. They cost 300 in-game points and they actually may give you a high value item. They randomly select something from a list of items and it means that even though you're quite a low level, you may have access to something that's a bit better than what you can actually afford to craft, make or buy from other means. Cannons are the heaviest weapons you can get at early stage game. One of the things that you have to bear in mind about cannons is these do a lot of damage, but because of that, they're going to be a target for the opposition. If you can protect your cannons, if they're on top of your vehicle, people can see them, they will try and take them down first. Add armor through the build options, and then you may well hold on to your cannons for a bit longer. They can be devastating. And of course, it depends on your playstyle. You may prefer the machine guns, I would recommend giving the cannons a go because they are incredibly powerful. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you find these tips useful. I hope they enhance your gameplay. And get in there and give Crossout a go. It's a lot of fun. Just a reminder, I have a second YouTube channel called Pit Stop Head 2. Just search for that or click the link on the screen. And there you can see a whole range of stuff, including some other Crossout action. So guys, thanks again, and I'll see you soon.